hello students welcome to engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet now we are going to solve this uh, 1352 problem from chapter 13 nuclear dynamics the problem says that a girl having a mass of 15 kg sits motionless relative to the surface of horizontal platform at a distance of r equals to 5 meter from the platform center if the angular motion of the platform is slowly increased so that the girl's tangential component of acceleration can be neglected. So from this statement we can say that the tangential acceleration is 0 and here r is equal to 5 meters so we can say that the radius of curvature is 5 meters and it is said that determine the maximum speed which the girl will have before she begins to slip off the platform right so we have to find the velocity of the girl and further it is said that the coefficient of static friction between the girl and the platform is 0.2 so we are going to solve this particular problem by using the normal and tangential coordinates right so the normal uh, axis is always acting towards the center of the curvature so this is the normal axis the tangential axis is perpendicular to the normal axis and the binormal axis is perpendicular to both the axis right so it will be acting parallel to the z axis right so this will be our binormal axis this is b now as we can see that uh, if this girl is slipping outwards then the friction is keeping this girl uh, in static position so the friction will be acting in the up, uh, opposite direction right so the friction is acting in the, the positive end direction so this is the friction force and that is the static friction and similarly the plate form is applying the force the normal force on her body and that is acting in the positive B direction and the weight of the girl is acting in the downward direction so this will be the weight of the girl so now if we apply the summation of forces along the binormal axis so this will be equal to zero since the girl is moving in the tangential direction so as we can see that this n is acting in the positive b direction so i will write plus n and minus the weight of the girl right so minus weight of the girl and this is equal to zero or we can say that the normal force of the plate form is equal to the weight of the girl and the weight of the girl is 15 the mass is 15 times 9.81 now if we apply the summation of forces along the normal axis is equals to m a n so as we can see that only the static friction force is acting in the positive n direction and this static friction force will be equal to 0.2 times n right so i will write 0.2 times n so we can write that this is plus 0.2 times n and this will be equal to the mass times a n so the mass of the girl is uh, 15 a n and as we know that a n is v square divided by r so this is v square divided by r r rho right so the rho is equal to that r which is 5 meters so we will divide it by 5 and we now know n so we can find that velocity which is required so this will be the maximum speed right so from this if i divide 15 by 5 so we will get this as 3 v square and we, we are interested to find this velocity so then v square will be equal to 0.2 n divided by 3 and we can write that n is equal to the weight of the girl from this equation so this is 15 times 9.81 and if i take the square root then we will have that maximum velocity magnitude so this is 0.2 times 15 into 9.81 divided by 3 so we get the velocity magnitude as 3.13 meter per second So this is that required uh, maximum speed of the girl which was required. So I hope you people would have understood the solution of uh, this particular problem. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and like this video if you 
people want me to solve such more problems.